Uh, Andy, 1969, London. Varied, mixed, incomplete. <laughs> what is a punk? God. Oh, well, it's a historical term and uh, it's been appropriated by the mass media to sell loads of rubbish records, I'd say, these days. Uh, the one idea that, that links should link all people who claim to adhere to anarchist philosophy is a belief that hierarchy, a power hierarchy, is detrimental to the human spirit. Uh, so you need to organise in non-hierarchical fashions. It's very, very hard to do, but it's very rewarding if you can do it for at least a short amount of time. Uh, I worked there for a couple of years in the mid to late 90s uh, in the Bookshop Collective and uh, also was part of a group that put on monthly uh, uh, underground rave parties there and uh, yeah, it didn't stay to the very, very end but about a year before it closed down I was, I was still there. I, I, left, I left when it took a direction I wasn't very happy with. The centre provided um, uh, space for various groups to be based. There was a radical feminist newspaper based there. There was an organisation that helped uh, prisoners. There was, uh, as I said before, there was the uh, radical bookshop, which was open part time. There was also um, there were various other groups that I probably would rather I don't say who they are on camera, but not that they were doing anything nefarious, it's just their business. Um, yeah, um, it, was, it was a local, um, it was a focal point for various communities. It wasn't so much a focal point for the uh, native black uh, Brixton community so much, uh, more just um, a kind of younger anarcho sort of teenage and young sort of white politico types. Quite regularly, people would sort of turn up at 121 from abroad and say, we've got to involve the local community, you know, why aren't we reaching out? And people would say, well, they've got their own stuff to be getting on with. They don't want a bunch of bloody, um, you know, foreigners that have just come, you know, have just, just swallowed a political, a political doctrine and are really, really evangelistic about, evangelical about it uh, to come and try and tell them how to live their life. That happened quite often. You sort of had to go, you know, had to humour the people when they did that. You know, back in 1988, I probably, you know, felt exactly the same way as people 18 feel as they find themselves in London today, to be honest with you. It's just easy to forget that, um, you know, uh, if you want to go against the grain, you're in a, you're in a tiny minority. So... Uh, yeah, good luck to the youth of today, that's all I can say.